This video is to show you how I used a sprinkler control device and controlled it with a Z-Wave, a Z-Wave contact. So this is a Rainbird CPF 075. I happen to use a three quarter inch. Uh, I did put hose adapters on each side. So I have the thing that controls the pressure from the micro irrigation. I'm just using a mi micro irrigation system, the little tiny sprinklers. Um, turning this on and off, it, these use uh, 24 volts AC. Um, when activated, that's what turns it on, pulls the solenoid in, and then when there's no power to it, it's off. So this wire, which I'm gonna bury, runs into my workshop. And I use the uh, Remotech Z-Wave Dry Contact ZFM80. So I ran power to it here. That's just coming from 120 volt power. And then this is a um, transformer that drops it down to 24 volts AC. It's 310 milliamp. So I don't know if that was too much, but it's definitely not too little. So far it's working fine. I've had it running for a few days now. Um, so the power comes out of that. I just have one leg of it uh, being interrupted by the Z-Wave controller. And so I can push this button to activate the sprinklers. I don't know if you can hear them come on. But that's the sprinklers on. You can also do it through the app. So there's my back fence sprinklers. I don't know if I'm getting the signal out. I'm kind of far from my Wi-Fi. There it goes. So now they're shutting off. It's usually quicker than that. Try turning them back on. Yeah, it kicked right on. So anyhow, I've scheduled programs to run uh, for when I need watering this time of year. Um, I was using a battery powered one that was programmable, but I had to come out here to do it if I wanted to change anything. And sometimes the battery would die and I wouldn't be aware of it. So this helps solve that. I'm gonna ultimately add more of these and I'll be able to use that same transformer. I don't plan on running any of them simultaneously because uh, I put a, in many, in many devices as I think I can on one water circuit. <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't want to run multiples at once, so I don't think I would need a stronger transformer. I did buy one, but I think this one will do just fine. I'm just going to run the outputs to a bus bar to control each uh, Z-Wave contact that I get, and then another Rainbird for each uh, water line. So that was my plan.